Let's take a look how we can move the pivot point or the origin point on an object in DAS Studio. Hello everyone, I'm Jay and on this channel we're helping you become better 3D artists with DAS Studio. Today I want to talk about pivot points or origin points. Those are the red, green and blue gizmos that show up at the point on pretty much every object in DAS Studio or in any 3D application from which you can move and rotate an object. Here on my trusty assistant Minerva, we can see it at the bottom of the figure. How are you doing Minerva? Good to see you, good to see you. This is the little gizmo from which I can rotate her or move her around. But not just human figures have this, every object has that. So if I select something else on her, like the hair, for example, then even though the hair is selected, it is also at the bottom. And if you want to make adjustments, that is not always in the position that you wanted it to be. So this was a question by Stuby. Stuby said, hey, can we move it? And yes, you can with the joint editor tool. Let me go remove Minerva here and show you how this works on a primitive. So I'll go and create my Myself, perhaps a sphere right here. There we go. If I go and select that sphere, it's not actually at the bottom. It's in the center of the sphere. And that might not be where I wanted it to be. So I can move that by switching over to this little icon, which is the joint editor tool. You can also get that if you don't see this icon on the toolbar, you can head over to tools and then you switch into the joint editor tool. And then you see that your manipulator is split into two parts. You've got a red piece and a green piece. And the one that determines the location of the manipulator gadget, the origin point, is in fact the green piece. So you can go and left click and drag that into any position that you want. To make that super accurate, I recommend that you switch from the perspective view into one of the orthographic views. So let's say from the front and I can go and move this directly to the bottom. So that'll help me do that. If you do this in the perspective view, your placement might not be as accurate as you wanted it to be. So right now, that's what that looks like. And if I go switch back to my 3D universal manipulator here, yeah, I can see that my pivot point has changed. That's kind of neat. So now the sphere or any object will rotate from that point and not from the point where it was previously. It also works on groups. So let me go and just move this kind of over here and then I'll perhaps make a duplicate of that. And then that duplicate, that's like sphere number two. Let me go and move that over here. And then with both of these spheres selected, I can go and create a group, parent the selected objects like so. And then you'll see that the manipulator is kind of in the median position between these two objects. You can also move that same thing, switch over to the little joint editor tool and then use the green arrow to move it around. So perhaps we're going to look from the right and we'll say, hey, this wants to perhaps be where one of the spheres is. And then you can switch this over and then that has changed that. And now, lo and behold, if I switch back to the universal manipulator, it looks like we're in the right place. But if I go and look from the perspective view, it looks like it's not in the right place. So that's why I was saying, hey, don't use the perspective view to line this up. Use the orthographic views to line this up. So we need to make one additional adjustment here once again and move just the position of that so that it works for both spheres. Did I use the right one? Yes, I did. Perfect. So now it's actually in the center of that. So yeah, orthographic viewports. And now it works really well. Now I can rotate both of these from one origin point. Let me go and delete this group and go back to my trusty assistant Minerva. And I'll show you something else that you might not know. And that has to do with fitted figures. So Minerva is currently not wearing a necklace. But if we make that happen, then I can show you a little trick that lets you move the origin point of a fitted figure. So let's say I'll use the Casey dress here that comes with a necklace that is made for Genesis 8. This is a Genesis 9 figure. So I'll just go and auto fit that on her. Takes only a second. And now Minerva is wearing a necklace. You can just about see that here. But if I go and select that necklace, you will see that the origin point of it is at the bottom. And that might not be where you wanted it if you wanted to adjust it. So there's two problems and I'll show you the solution to both of these. So first of all, since the Casey necklace is fitted to the figure, it's not a loose accessory that can be moved around. I could go and left click and drag the Y translation and I'll see that the necklace isn't actually moving. In fact, let me go and zoom into the necklace and use my translation slider here for that. If I go and 
use Y translate up or down, the necklace isn't moving, even though my manipulator clearly is. See that? That is moving, but the necklace isn't. So that is problem number one. And we can fix that by heading over with the necklace selected to the parameters. And then under constraints up here, there's an option that says fit to mode. We're currently using the redirect transforms, which is the default on fitted figures. But if we go and change that to the auto follow transforms and go back to our translation, then we can see that as I play with my Y rotation, the necklace is actually moving. It's now just a matter of adjusting the origin point so that it is at the position of the necklace so that I can make a meaningful adjustment in situ. And that works the same way. Switch it to the joint editor, then very carefully move the green arrow up to the position of where you wanted it to be. Control F zooms into the selected object. And here it's kind of debatable where it needs to be. Maybe I'll put it into the position of the dangly bit at the bottom. So perhaps that is here, is it? Look from all sides, just so that you know that it is in fact in the correct position. I think it is. And now I can go and switch this back to the universal manipulator, and then I can move the necklace from here. And I can go and rotate it if I wanted to, or I can just move it up or down. Now be mindful that when you make this adjustment, do this in an unposed position of your character. Make sure the character is in uh, center position, like an A pose or a T pose, because if you don't do that, you'll see that while you move the manipulator, the actual object will move if you have a pose applied or something. So that is not what you want to do. So yes, the joint editor tool is your friend to move the pivot or origin points of any object in Das Studio. I hope this was helpful and I hope I'll see you next time. Take care.